Well, hello, friends. Uh, Ted from Nerd Immersion here, and I'm back with a familiar face to a lot of you, and uh, if it's not, I don't know what rock you've been living under. But I'm here with my good friend, Celeste Conowich. Uh, how you doing, Celeste? I'm doing great. Thanks so much for having me on. Yeah, of course. And you can see it in the very cleverly green screened behind her. Oh, that... what? Is... <laughs> what, is, what could that be? <laughs> what That's... are we talking about? <laughs> that is what we're here to talk about today, which is the amazing... Cray, I just, I'm dumbfounded with actual words to say. There's a Venture Maidens campaign guide coming out for 5e, and it's written by Celeste, and it's launching probably tomorrow, or maybe even today by the time you see this video. Uh, and that's wild. So let's, I mean, that's like, in my mind, the pinnacle of what it means to play in RPGs and do the game design thing. Like, this is your book in a thing you made. And now it's going to be a thing that I can hold in my hands in like less, a little more than a year. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's hard to believe sometimes that I'm standing here, but after five years of running this podcast and dreaming about making this book, it's, it's actually happening, which is just so thrilling. Myself and the rest of the Venture Maidens are just so stoked every day to be here. Yeah. So, I, I mean, I guess, why don't you give, for like again, for the the two people that don't know who you are and who, who what the Venture Maidens are, why don't you give just a very high level, just what is the Venture Maidens and who are you, and then then we'll start talking about the book and why people should be excited. Yeah, so Venture Maidens is an actual play podcast and live stream um, of the same name that was started by uh, myself and a crew of women and non-binary folks. Uh, we've been running for almost five and a half years now, about the same time 5th edition launched. Uh, we launched this podcast. Uh, the world is entirely of my own homebrew creation. Uh, we've built it together over these years. It's a, it's a high fantasy setting, uh, very influenced by the chaotic forces of the Fae and uh, very domineering gods, basically a a lot of powerful forces that are constantly trying to define the destiny of our heroes for them and our game is very much about fighting against those forces and finding your own destiny uh, when so many people are trying to control your fate and if any of that sounds interesting to you well great news there's a book coming out <laughs> where you can play in the exact <clears throat> same world so uh again you may have seen celeste here on the channel in, for interviews and in actual plays but Again, tell people just who you are and, and, you know, you've obviously got a pedigree in game design from a variety of different things, but let, let the people know. Yeah, so uh, I now currently am a full-time game designer uh, with 2C Gaming, who is the company that is helping Venture Maidens produce this book, which is a very cool synergy. Uh, but about a year and a half ago, I walked away from my full-time like sales marketing job to start designing full-time. And since then, it's just been <laughs> this incredible experience. I've been so lucky to work with companies like Wizards of the Coast. I helped them write, you know, Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. I was one of the authors on that book, uh, working a bunch with Cobalt Press, MCDM Productions. I've been very, very lucky, very privileged to work with a lot of these amazing companies and people in the community too, working with DMs Guild authors and publishing all over the place. And I am I'm really, really glad I went through this gauntlet of a year and a <laughs> half to be here now, you know, as the lead designer on this book. I feel like I can really bring a bunch of experience and knowledge to this passion project, which I've dreamed about for so long and now actually have the mechanical know-how to sure. create. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, and unlike typical, I'd say typical backer or, or preview pages, right? If you were to go right now to the link that you'll see at the top of the video description, uh, and as a pinned comment, the page is more or less live, except for the part where you get to back it. Exactly. Um, so I'm going to jump over here and, you know, we're at the top of your screen, but take a look. This is the, the preview page. Um, it's set to go live again at 7 a.m. Pacific on the 7th. On the 8th. The 8th, eighth eighth which is what I said. The 8th <laughs> at 7, uh, 7 a.m. Pacific. Uh, but if we scroll down here, you can see right here, we've got the amazing art for the front cover of the book. Um, and again, we talked a little bit beforehand, some of the pledge levels may be changing by what you see in the final. So, you know, don't take that with a grain of salt. You'll see the final numbers and everything. Um, but we can see that it's not just going to be, as we talked about, just a campaign setting. There is a whole slew of player-based content for this as well. 
Yeah, it, you know, it was really important to me um, to market this book to people who, of course, have loved The Venture Maidens for a while, but also people who have literally never heard the podcast and don't know what it is. So I wanted this book to be a valuable resource for players, for dungeon masters, uh, for fans, for people new to the world of Venture Maidens, just anyone interested in this setting that we have to offer. So it's jam-packed with usable tools. Uh, this is not going to be one of those campaign guides that just throw a bunch of lore and text blocks at you with not a lot to use. I mean, <laughs> we've we've loaded a subclass for every single one of the core classes. We've got spells, we've got monsters, we've got monster templates coming into 5e, which is something I've always wanted to do. Uh, feats, we've, we've really jam-packed this book to be useful above all else. Yeah, I mean, I, I again, just looking, we've got the table of contents up on screen here. We've got backgrounds, as you said, a subclass for every single class. The Heroic Destiny, which we will talk about that new yeah. mechanic as well. Equipment, which I'm assuming covers magic items, mm -hmm. uh, feats, spells, and then we dive into the last two chapters are sort of about the campaign running an adventure in the world and then sort of lore there as well. So, uh, yeah, and again, I should say there is a preview that you can click right here to download to get access to one of the full, the subclasses, the new Warlock uh, patron is there as well as a high level description of that heroic destiny system and one of the options which will again we'll touch on that in just a sec here but uh, i did want to scroll down and show that there are a variety of different tiers you've got a digital only option you've got a print option you've got a deluxe print option and then what's really cool is a collector box and if anything helps make it seem like it's more like it's a really true i don't know a, a thing i don't know what the word i'm trying to say but it's it's got a collector box an folks. experience yeah it's a whole <laughs> venture maidens experience which not only comes with your book which not only comes with the pdf you're going to get a set of handmade dice a pin and more stuff and, and i mean obviously the collector box itself and looks like there's uh an, there's an, an adventure an adventure zine so it's a whole yeah. uh tier one adventure to start in the world um which is really cool one of our stretch goals is if we make that that's going to expand to a four-part series so no, an adventure cool. that'll take you from levels one to 20 in the venture maiden setting yeah i mean these dice are rpg dice dice so they are 100 mm -hmm. custom they are in the traditional and iconic venture maidens purple uh, I mean, this is this is just fantastic. And, you know, uh, again, we've got a set of stretch goals here. Some of those may be changing as time goes on. And there's options here on the side where you can go ahead and comment and leave your own feedback if you see something or have questions, things like that. Which has um, been super great for the page because we've been really listening to a lot of community feedback. Uh, so this page you see here is the version before we incorporate all the awesome community feedback we're getting. So the page is just going to be more special uh, when it goes live. Right, and I mean, like you said, it's being put out by 2C Gaming, who are, you know, they've put out great stuff, so it's a quality company, so there's really no risk of, you know, you don't have to worry about it being Kickstarter. It's always kind of risky, but this is a tried and true and a proven company, uh, and I wouldn't think Celeste would uh, would do this with someone that she didn't feel confident in either. No, I mean, so. 2C Gaming has been so fantastic. They've run, I think, 13 successful fully mm -hmm. funded books. Their last one closed in at $110,000 for their Epic Legacy Tome of Titans. Uh, so we are really lucky to have their expertise on board. And uh, that's one of the reasons we really wanted to include that promo document to, you know, show proof of concept, to show how great this book is going to look and the level of quality you can expect all the Way through the project so let's talk about uh we saw the subclasses and we have again we have the the titan otherworldly patron as an option yeah. that is available in the promo that people can go and check out right now um but uh while that is the one that's in the promo uh while this may be asking you to choose like one of your own children what's your favorite subclass uh, so I probably have to say um, the bard subclass that we're doing, which is the College of Bells, um, in the mythology of Venture Maidens, um, basically there's this bastion of civilization, right, um, that's just struggling to survive on the outside edges. There's the constant threat of the world of fairy, like 
flooding in, chaos becoming just rampant if these fae get into society. So there are these individuals called Corellans in the world who train with bells and sound to bind and banish creatures like the fae uh, that might threaten civilization or society. So the College of Bells is going to be this very cool exploration of how you use sounds uh, to, to bind, to banish, to control um, these monstrous creatures. So that feels like something really unique to the world mm-hmm. of Venture Maidens, and I'm really excited to turn that really beloved uh, class into something that anybody can use and make as a part of their game. So it won't be just for the Fae, it'll be specifically you've trained to use instruments to fight a certain kind of creature. Very cool. Well, I had a feeling, just based on what I knowing you, that that would have been the my would have been my guess. But uh, I mean, I do love a good bard. <laughs> yeah, that is that is true. Um, all right, so let's talk the heroic destiny, which is something that again, a pretty much a high level overview is available in the promo document as well as one whole example, which is the uh, the kind of the symbiosis, I believe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Why don't you tell people what Heroic Destiny is, how it'll factor into not just Adventure Maiden's campaign, but also possibly into anybody's campaign? Yeah, so this is something that I I really wanted to explore with the book, because I'm not going to lie to you, there are about one billion actual play podcasts out in this world. So when we were taking up the challenge of making this book, I really wanted to answer the question of what is special about Venture Maidens, what sets Venture Maidens apart um, from these other shows, what's so special about it. So the big answer to that came from the heroic destiny system because in our show we do build the arcs of our story that are individual to each character and the character narrative and personal growth and their stories are such a forefront of our campaign that i wanted to create a mechanic that was a really simple way for people to bring that feeling and that experience into their own games i feel like oftentimes you know we really do want to build those like hand tailored moments for our players Players, or as players want those like journeys for ourselves in our games, but it's always a struggle to try and fit that in and get through the events of the campaign and, you know, without everything being so much pressure and falling apart. So the heroic destiny system is a very simple mechanic that players and DMs can work together to craft these personalized like character journeys for themselves or so you can run them as subplots you can you know run them alongside weave them in with the main events of your campaign Uh, but basically players choose from this list we've provided of heroic destinies and these are all things that you see are very common archetypes for character Mm -hmm. stories so things like becoming an, an avenger or becoming a guardian or like the symbiosis example forming a bond like an unbreakable bond with a creature type other than yourself And as you pick up one of these destinies, uh, you can basically level up these systems um this alongside your normal class level this is like an additional Mm -hmm. mechanic you have and each destiny has four tiers um in it that are kind of these different levels that provide mechanical benefits and then also require a story milestone to complete we have some suggested milestones given in each of these systems but it really is about you know the dm and the player working together to craft these really cool turning point moments that advance that personal narrative in the story so what i hope this is and what i really (laughs) think we've nailed here is a really great way that you know, is no pressure all on the DM or all on the player to craft these awesome personal stories that really feel like your hero is becoming a hero over Mm. the course of a campaign. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense is definitely, I feel like there's definitely a, a want or a need for that. And it's, I mean, again, one thing we should point out, which I kind of alluded to there, but that's not, it's not just a Venture Maidens campaign world thing. If you want to take the Heroic Destiny and drop it in your pre-written campaign, your homebrew campaign, this is a system agnostic system that you can, or setting agnostic system that you can use to help build that character and those bonding moments with your players to help make the game feel more immersive and more real and make the players feel more tied into it so that you can emulate the experience that people who get to listen to the venture maidens get to you know live for themselves which having minimal uh access but been involved in a couple of different uh episodes of the venture maidens i know that that's 
I mean, Celeste is an amazing storyteller and to get a little peek inside her brain into how these things come up. And that's what this whole system is. And that's it's fantastic. It's it's there. The promo document, if that doesn't sell you, I don't know what will. It's very clearly defined. You've got options for, like you said, uh, tiering systems. And it's I mean, it's the full symbiosis option right that's like yeah. so you could go use concept, that right now it's right there yeah you could incorporate in this game right the heck now um you could go from saving a griffin in a trap one day to writing it into the final battle against your boss if you pick up the symbiosis system today <laughs> so if i was gonna make you pick again oh my gosh if you had to pick a favorite really heroic just choosing my children <laughs> yeah okay. i know okay. if you had to pick your favorite heroic destiny obviously we can see all of the lists on the kickstarter page but if you had to just pick one, just which is your personal favorite or which one? How about this? If you were a player in a okay. game and someone was using the heroic destiny system, what would you want your character to have? Yeah, I mean, mm, there's so many good ones on here. Uh, well, I really like the the wielder destiny. Mm -hmm. That's something like you get tangled up with an artifact and, you know, your destiny becomes defined by it. So these are characters, you know, like Frodo from Lord of the Rings or like sure. King Arthur from yep. Excalibur. Yep. Um, these, these sort of things, I think that narrative is always really, really compelling. I'm really excited to build that one out. I think a lot of people are really going to relate to that. Um, yeah, that's the one that caught my eye. Yeah, right I, gate, I so. love... I love that we also have the the fortune seeker in here because I feel like it's such like a maybe it's an old school game mentality, but like amassing a ton yeah. of treasure and your own like fort and having all these amazing items. Uh, I, I feel like a lot of players will be really satisfied. Like, like this is my destiny to yes. become the richest person <laughs> in the world. Uh, I feel like that's really relatable. I also I'm really excited to build things like the the enlightened. Mm -hmm. For example, um, I, I feel like I've always been really attracted to the concept of, you know, gods and faith in D&D. &D. And sure. I think, you know, spending time to elevate your mind and your consciousness um, is, is going to be a really interesting journey. So, gosh. I didn't pick any. I didn't That's pick okay. any. That's okay. That's uh, okay. That was... Or this is a celebrity just become famous. Yeah, I mean, that's... <laughs> that is... I mean, and honestly, yeah. I could see... And there's op There's rules, too, to change it, right? Like, if you wanted... Yeah. To, like, if something yeah, so happens... It, yeah, if suddenly your character, you know, goes through something in their life or has, you know, a, a personality change, something big happens, uh, you can absolutely discard your heroic destiny and choose a new one. Um, and also this is something that you don't have to start right at right. level one, you know, when you make your character L at any point in a campaign, you can pick up a heroic destiny, you know, when the time is right, or maybe something comes up in the game and it just feels like a good time, uh, to address this. The only kind of suggested rule here is that if one character is picking up a heroic destiny, you should all pick up a heroic destiny because that'll help kind of scale things and balance things along um as you as you grow and play through your game sure yeah i mean and it's it's looking like you're looking to deliver the pdf in january of 2022 mm -hmm. and physical copies in hand in june of 2022 looks like is that that correct yep so yeah, yeah and i mean we're already you know it's so great seeing everything in full swing and we've got you know just an amazing team of artists and contract writers on this project um that i just things are getting turned in and it's so exciting to see how this book is developing and really exciting now to see when we meet those stretch goals how much more we get to add into the book because every stretch goal is adding another writing and art element to the book so the book just gets better and better and better every time we hit a stretch goal yeah so uh, again uh it may or may not it probably will be live tomorrow by the time you're watching this video um and i know you guys are doing a launch party too right is that yeah yeah so thursday night um 6 p.m pacific time uh on the 8th you can stop by the venture maidens twitch channel uh we're going to be doing a launch party so we will be there answering questions celebrating every time somebody uh do, does a new pledge um just basically celebrating all things venture maidens and we would love to have you on board for that live stream just uh, for good party good party times yeah, no, it'll be great. I will probably be there myself. So, yeah, uh, yeah I, I mean, well, is there anything else that you want to say that we didn't cover? We we went through a lot of it, but floor is yours. Yeah, I mean, I just want to say uh, we do also on this project in case, you know, 
D&D books aren't your thing for some reason. Um, if you don't want to order the book itself, we do have a $5 donation tier if you do just believe in the project. Um, I think it's pretty special that an actual play podcast that's been around as long as ours with voices a little bit different from what you see is here and like launching this project. So any support you're willing to give, if you would like to back at the $5 level, we super appreciate it. Uh, and just the show of, of faith and that you think we're doing something cool here. Um, other than that, just thank you to the 2C Gaming team and all the amazing artists. I want to say Key Weatherton is the one who did this amazing mm. cover. Uh, so please do go follow her at Key Chan on Twitter. She does a ton of awesome like fan commissions and has some great critical role art. And she's just really fabulous. So please do uh, look at the page and just follow all the all the people as part of the team. Yeah, and again, there'll be links in the description, links as pinned comments, and more coverage once once things go live and, and as things begin to tick up. Uh, when it gets funded in the first hour, we'll talk about that probably. So. Um, and yeah, uh, again, I'll be you know as as things come out and, and we're able to talk more about other things and go over it, and, and you know, obviously when the full book comes out, I'll be you know doing standard coverage of this kind of stuff as time goes on. So. Uh, keep an eye here uh, on the channel for more Venture Maidens uh, goodness. But if not, and people want to go, I mean, obviously there'll be links in the description for all of your stuff, but people want to follow you, Celeste, it's Econowich on Twitter, but where else can people find you? Yeah, if you want to find the full catalog of everything I've written, all the podcasts I'm recording, producing, just all the stuff I'm doing, you can always go to my website, CelesteConowich.com. Uh, please do make sure to follow the Venture Maidens on Twitter at Venture Maidens and Instagram and Facebook at Venture Maidens. Uh, so we're going to be shouting about announcements and updates there. Um, and of course, on my personal Twitter page at C. Conowich. <laughs> it's all I can talk about. Mm. Um, and, you know, give 2C Gaming a follow as well, sure. um, even if this project isn't quite your thing they're doing a lot of awesome stuff is going to be coming up soon from them all right well thank you celeste always a pleasure to have you here uh you always so doing much. interesting things every time we turn around and we talk so <laughs> i can't stop <laughs> no uh so again check all that stuff out and uh i don't know we'll see you next time <laughs>